so what's going on everyone welcome back to another video with me uh, hope you are having a wonderful and fantastic day wherever you may be and I'm coming at you with another Lego video we have the Y wing to build boom it's a pretty big box my face is almost gone it's got a lot of of characters in there as well it's got uh, four actual characters and one droid um, so pretty awesome um, I haven't had um, I haven't really focused on the original movie sets I mostly focused on the Clone Wars era stuff and I have still to make um, some of those videos showing um, off some of my collection to you all um, comment below if you want to um, tell letting me know what you want to see first um, just what do you want to see I have uh, a lot of different Clone Wars stuff if you want me to start with um, the original trilogy sets like Imperial stuff or uh, Rebel Fleet type of type of things let me know um, where to start um, so those are kind of some of the options and I'll kind of showcase what I have in my collection um, so let's go ahead and jump on into the build. Um, it should be an interesting one. Hopefully it's not too complicated and I will see you at the end of the video.
So we finally finished the uh, Y-Wing Starfighter. It was actually kind of a long build and a, a pretty tedious job. So honestly, I would say that this is probably a little bit more of an advanced build. Um, there were a lot of little tiny pieces that kind of went in to make up a lot of the, um, the actual piece. So there was a lot of pieces. Um, and that's why I would say it's a pretty advanced build. Um, there's a lot of intricate detail. So let's jump first into the characters. So first we have the Y-Wing pilot. That's what he looks like. He does have a back plate. It's like a surprised face. It's like, yeah, surprised face right there. It's a pretty good. Uh, interesting little helmet too so not bad it did come with a stormtrooper pretty basic um, I think that's where I also have some feedback it should come with like two stormtroopers like when does one stormtrooper come by themselves it's a little awkward the next character I think he was in Rogue One uh, his name is more more off so it's actually pretty cool. It has uh, printing all on its chest too and back even though you can't really see all the, the stuff. He has like a pack, uh, a pack on. Um, pretty cool character. Next we have Admiral, Admiral Radis. So he's a pretty basic Mon Calamari person. And then last we have just a rebel astromech droid doesn't have a call sign so pretty cool it has a transparent head so uh, we also got with the set a little uh, a little piece of equipment there just to kind of I guess if you're building like a base or whatever that has like the little equipment that goes with it um, so that was kind of the characters pretty decent character set um, and then the little extra piece on the side kind of adds to it as well. But onto the main piece, um, I was really happy. It only had five sets of stickers, so not bad at all. Really, really nice for me. Um, overall, the set is really, really sturdy. It's pretty awesome. So it doesn't shake, it doesn't, well, the things that are jiggling in there are actually torpedoes. And right here is where they come out. There's a little rotating piece there, and so it drops torpedoes. Really cool. Um, it could fit four strategically, but three, but three realistically. So um, pretty awesome. And then uh, has the nice little cockpit, um, the original looking uh, Y-wing shape. Um, see, this is where all the detail comes in. There's a lot of little pieces, like right in here, there's little brackets. Um, if you saw from the build, this actual engine piece was very, very repetitive. A lot of stuff kind of went in there. Um, little pieces here. Um, it creates a lot of great detail, um, which is pretty interesting about this set in particular. But like I said, it was very, very tedious to put all these little uh, holding pieces on the set. Um, there are a lot of those in here. For these little bracket pieces in there, there are 34 of them on this build. So that's quite a lot for, for something like this. Um, and the reason why that is is because it's supposed to, this is supposed to be the modified version of the Y-Wing. Um, they used Y-Wings in the Clone Wars and they had extra armor on here. So these are kind of the stripped uh, stripped down so to speak versions of the y-wings so it, they're supposed to be faster than the normal y-wing um, so it kind of gives it that detail of course um, which is actually pretty awesome so um, overall my final thoughts on this set um, I really think it's cool um, it's a pretty awesome set honestly um, it is a little bit harder to build uh, with all of the repetitive pieces on it. Um, so that's kind of what makes it a little bit more harder to do. Um, so, and, and there's a lot of little tiny pieces. 
Um, so um, I wouldn't recommend this one for kids. This is definitely a, like a collector one. Um, and the ages on it are 8 to 14, which is the higher end of their, their sets. Um, usually they're younger than that. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video today um, showing the uh, Y-Wing Starfighter build. Um, let me know in the comments below uh, what you thought. Let me know if you have this set yourself. Um, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Um, and also, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell button so you receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Um, it'll help you keep up to date, see what I'm doing, what I'm up to. And I would just really appreciate um, if you did that. Um, until next time, have a good day. Bye-bye.